Leicester 2, Manchester United 2. Get comfortable, let's get into it. Less than two minutes in, Bruno puts a cross in for Rashford with a header and he puts it over the bar. He has to score that. He has to score it. Simple as that. Opportunity missed. Um, Vardy beats Bailly to the ball. Not sh Shortly after the ch uh, Rashford chance. Bit of a half chance. Gets his body in front of, of Vardy, but Vardy beats him to it still. And I think that one went over the bar as well, but Bay, he's got to, he's got to win that ball when he doesn't. So, Val, I thought Bay was very shaky again. He doesn't convince me. Yes, he's got pace, but he doesn't convince me. Um, De Gea had a, nearly had a, a shambles like a Henderson thing again. Um, and then he tries to blame Shaw for passing the ball back to him. How can you blame Shaw for having a poor first touch as a goalkeeper? It's not Shaw's fault. You can't control the ball. The pass was fine for you to control and you can't control it properly. So don't start shouting your mouth off at Shaw because you can't control the ball. So we got away with that because he, he needed to give it away once he passed it as well to Gea to Maguire and, and Vardy nearly got to it. So stop passing the buck and take responsibility. No creativity, I thought, in the first half, for the majority of the first half from us. And we were sloppy in possession. Martial, Rashford, ton of, loads of the players just losing the ball in unnecessary situations. Just no excuse for it. Sloppy. Bruno then got an assist for Rashford, which got started from Dan James. It was You could argue it was a poor ball and Dan James didn't mean it, but Bruno got a toe to it and it put Rashford through clean on goal and a tidy finish from Rashford. But that all comes from Dan James. Everyone's going on at Dan James today, how poor he is. That goal comes from Dan James. Bruno got the, the vital touch for it to go to a, to Rashford for the goal, but that doesn't happen if Dan James doesn't create it to start with. Dan James, I thought the effort was there again today, but not the quality throughout the game. But I thought it was a bit of an average performance for him. Everyone was saying that he was shocking. you got to look at him like he's young, and I don't think he's at that level. He's not a United player in my opinion, but you have to rate him on what... His level is what his ceiling is. And I thought that was an average performance for him. People were saying it was dreadful. I don't think it was dreadful. It was average for him. Bruno, I thought, look, the, the, the Harvey Barnes goal, Bruno is at fault. Mark Goldbridge is going in on, on Scott McTominay saying that he should close him down more before he gets the shot away, which he could do. But he's not in that situation if Bruno don't lose the ball and lose it where he loses it. It's not like we've lost it in in Leicester's own half. We've lost it in our half, near our own box. Bruno's done that because he's tried to nutmeg the player. Bruno, not McTominay. McTominay probably should close Barnes down and block the shot, but that all stems from Bruno losing the ball where he loses it. So Bruno's at fault for that goal for me. And I don't want to pass the buck to fucking McTominay because yes, he can close it down quicker, but Bruno is the one at fault. Just because Bruno is usually our man of the match and our best player most games does not mean he's short or shouldn't get any criticism. Mark Goldbridge... <sighs> Let's calm it. He can't criticise Bruno at all and it's disgusting and it's pathetic. No player should be above criticism. No one. So Bruno is at fault for that goal. I thought Fred was our man of the match. He was really good today. Good in possession, good in the tackle, closing down, superb. I thought he had a really solid game and was the only consistent performer for me throughout the game. Um, so well done to Fred. Great free kick from Shaw, I thought, for um, Bruno had a header, which he skied over the bar. Um, I thought Shaw was really good today as well. Good set pieces and just good energy, tackling, positional. You could maybe argue he could do better on the, the Vardy goal for the cross that comes in, but I don't think that's down to him really. Um, so I thought um, Shaw was really good today, but Bruno should be scoring that as well. Uh, second half, comical moment where Fred passed the ball back under pressure and it hits Bay's hand and they get a free kick from it. Um, just one of them things where you just you have to laugh, otherwise you're going to cry. Um, Madison took the free kick and Rashford cleared it on the wall with a header. So, But if you don't get it, that's going over the wall and it's going in. Um, so a vital block. Great through ball from Fred as well to Rashford. And Rashford, for me, has to score that. And he puts it too central and, and Schmeichel makes the save. If he puts it to the side more, that's a goal, 100%. And I think Rashford should be scoring it. Rashford today, for me, should have got a hat-trick at minimum. Maybe even four goals. He should have had a hat-trick at minimum. 
and we we let him get away with it too much because of stuff he's doing off the field. We've got to stop doing that and just focus on what he's doing on the pitch because that's what he's getting paid for. And today, again, him and Martial, for me, when they ain't got the ball as well, their body language is disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. They look unmotivated. They look like they're sulking and throwing a tantrum. And it needs to stop. And, and for me, even though he scored Rashford today, overall his game was poor. And he should have had a hat-trick at minimum. But the body language for him and Martial, it's got to change. Um, Martial had another frustrating afternoon. But I didn't think he had a good game, even when he got the ball at times. I, I just thought he was poor today. Even holding the ball up and stuff, he was losing the ball. And I just thought he was poor today. Um, what else we got? Martial did score at one point through. I think it was Rashford that put him through. Um, and it was offside, so... Just one of them games. But Rashford today, as I said, minimum of a hat-trick has to be. Um, I thought Harvey Barnes for Leicester was superb today, creating problems down our right all game. I thought he was by far Leicester's best player. I don't know why we played Lindelof at right back. Either bring Twanzebi in at right back or Mensa. Don't bring Twanzebi on because Lindelof, Lindelof has to come off injured because he's had too much game time when you could have prevented all that from starting Mensa or Twanzebi at right back and dropping Lindelof if if he was unfit or whatever before the game, and then he's not going to pick anything up. So that's poor from Ollie on my stand. Maguire skied uh, a header, a free kick from Shaw, and he's got to be getting it on target. Like, he has to be. Like, when he was at Leicester and for England, I remember him at least getting these on target, if not scoring them. And for United, he might win the header, but they're going up, they're ballooning all the time. I think I've seen him score one goal for United from a header. Since he's been here. It's not good enough. It's not the player that we thought we were bought. We were buying. It's not good enough. Um, he has to score. So again. No, Shaw could have had about three assists today. But people can't finish their chances. Cavani come on. Thought he did alright when he come on. Put a through ball to Bruno for a tidy finish. 2-1 uh, up for us. Good impact from Cavani. Other than that. I thought he was a little bit average and quiet. Um, Bruno, good finish though. Had to, he kind of made up a little bit for his mistake for the for the Barnes goal, but I didn't think Bruno was great today. I thought he was okay, um, but good tidy finish from him nonetheless. And then Vardy get, got his goal near the end where Luke Shaw could maybe do a little bit better trying to prevent the cross. Maguire is a little bit not central enough. He's, he's going more left, more closer to Shaw, um, getting... Well, not near Shaw, but he's he's not central enough near, um, who was it, Bay. He was not close enough to Bay at that point. So Twanzebi's had to come across like Aaron wan usually does and fill in because Maguire's out of position a bit. So Maguire's out of position. And then at the same time, Twanzebi and Bay aren't even aware where Bay, where Vardy is, even though he's sandwiched in between them. They don't even know where he is when that ball comes in. And he's got a simple tap in, which gets a deflection off of Twanzebi. And it's probably going wide if it don't get a deflection. So just to, to add salt in the wounds, because I said as well to my dad when I was watching it, Vardy's had a quiet game today and I feel like he's going to pop up at some point and look what happened. But that's probably preventable for positional sense. Maguire telling his defenders where Vardy is. Or at least one of them has to know where Vardy is. None of them are even aware of where he is, even though he's in between two of them. How does that happen? And then I think even for that, I think De Gea could react better as well. It's not a, a goal right in the corner of the goal. And it's still a goal because I, I, I just don't think he does well enough, De Gea. And maybe that's a bit harsh, but there's got to be more communication. Let's get into the player ratings. David De Gea gets a four, just below average. I feel he could do a little bit better on that second goal for me. Other than that, I thought he was okay. Lindelof gets a seven. I thought he was solid. And then he got he had to come off with the injury. But I thought he was the best of the defenders other than Shaw. Twanzebi gets a three for me because of that second goal. Like that can't be happening. Him and Bay are at full and Maguire. They're all three of them for me on that second goal. So Bay, Maguire, and Twanzebi all get a three. Maguire has to score that header he gets. Bay I just he doesn't instill me with confidence. He makes me worry when he's on the ball. So, Maguire, Bay, and Twanzebi all get threes. Sure, I'll give 7 to. Um, I thought he had good energy. He was putting good crosses in. And he should have had a few assists if people could finish their chances. McTominay, 
not anywhere near the Leeds performance. I thought he was below average today. I'll give him a four. Fred, I thought was superb today. Good in possession, good ball retention, good tackling, strong on the ball, playing it simple, keeping possession. Fred was my man of the match. I'll give him an eight. Uh, Dan James, I'll give an average of a five. Good energy. Started the... Um, the Rashford goal off, um, didn't have a great game other than that, but I don't think it's the worst I've seen him, even though he wasn't great, and I think people are going a bit too harsh on him. Five for me. Pogba, I'd give a three to. Um, come on, but it didn't really make too much of an impact for me. He got a few free kicks and things, but just didn't impact the game for me. Bruno, I'd give a seven to. Um, Possibly should give him a maybe a lower than that, maybe a six because of the fault for the Harvey Barnes goal. Don't care what you got to say, he's at fault for that goal for me. Um, but I'll give him a seven because he he got the the two one up, got us two one up with a tidy finish, and and he wasn't bad. He was still doing his thing in the game, but that mistake cost him for me a bit. And we got to, we got to put blame where blame is should be put. We can't keep passing a buck because certain players we think should be above criticism. That's bullshit. So Bruno gets a 7 for me. Arguably could get lower. Rashford, I'll give a 4 to. He should have had a hat-trick at minimum. I think 4 is being generous. I could have given him a lower mark. Um, but because he got the goal, I'll give him slightly higher. Martial gets a 3. I thought he was poor today. His body language just looks like he's sulking. Spoiled child. Yes, he might be frustrated. He's not getting a lot of service in that. But when you do get the ball... You have to fucking switch on and, and make things happen. And I thought he was poor today. Even if you are frustrated, I thought he was poor. Cavani, average of a five. Um, got the assist for uh, the Bruno goal. So, other than that, I don't think he did too much. But I'll give him a, an average just for getting the assist. And Oli on a Solskjaer for me. Gets a three today. You can argue that it's the player's fault more than his. But him starting with Lindelof at right back is, is a joke for me. Donny didn't get a chance, didn't come on again. And he's just playing players too much. Like certain players are playing too many minutes. Too many times he looks like he hasn't got an answer for things. So gets a free today because that game is there for the taking today. We were, we were by far the better team in my opinion. Um, we should have won that. Simple as that. So disappointing to get the draw today for me. You, I'm usually pretty content and happy with a draw. But today we should have got the three points. Leicester are a good team, but we were the better team today, but we couldn't finish our chances. If you can't finish your dinner, you're not going to grow. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So we had our chances to win that today. Tons of chances, and we didn't take them. A bit disappointed today, to be honest. Two all draw. Should have won. And we just got to go. We've got to keep going and, and see how we turn up for the next game. But I'd like to see some changes made for the starting lineup for the next game. Fred gets my man in a match. Leaps ahead of people today. Um, by far our best player. Fred, eight. But not good enough today. Not good enough. So I'll be back with the next game, guys. Speak to you soon.